primary preservative treated wood or pressure treated wood, how is it made? Seasoned timber is loaded onto trolleys and then pushed into the treatment cylinder. The door is then closed and sealed. An initial vacuum is introduced to the cylinder by means of a vacuum pump. The vacuum is maintained for a period to extract air from the cylinder as well as the wood cells, making the timber easier to impregnate with a preservative. The cylinder is then flooded with preservative from the working tank whilst maintaining the initial vacuum until filled. This ensures that there is no air or vapour compressed and trapped at the top of the vessel. After flooding, the vacuum is released and pressure is applied. The pressure is gradually raised to a specific level and maintained until the required amount of preservative has been pumped into the timber from the measuring tank. The amount of preservative is pre-calculated based on the volume of the timber in the cylinder and the hazard class of intended use. The readings are taken from a side class or float level attached to the measuring tank. The pressure is then released and the cylinder is emptied by pumping the preservative back into the working tank where it will create an overflow into the measuring tank. A final vacuum is applied to retrieve excess preservative from the timber which reduces dripping. When the level indicated on the measuring tank has stabilized, a final reading is taken to verify that the calculated volume of preservative has been retained by the timber. The cylinder door is then opened and the trolley with the pressure treated timber is pushed out to a storage area where it will remain until ready for shipment.